So tell me who. Tell me, tell me, what, Nick Sedgwick, and I work for, or well, I run a company called Creative Rooms, and we do residential technology. So we put smart technology into private houses and commercial premises. And what made you start up the company? Uh, I've done been in technology all my life, ever since I started at IBM uh, in the late 80s. I did a business studies degree at North East London Poly, as it was in those days, basically because it was the only place that would take me with, with not very good A-levels. Um, did a business studies degree, went to IBM, worked for IBM, and then basically ran my own company then for about seven years, which we sold, and then decided to do another one. And so here we are today. Why, why would you start another one after you just sold one? Uh, there was a bit of a break between, but it's just what you like doing. I mean, I like building companies and I like running companies. You know, I couldn't, what would I do otherwise? So do you employ people? Yeah, we've got 14 staff now. Um, yeah, which is plenty. And where are you based? Uh, Guildford and Berkshire. An office in Guildford, an office in Twyford and Berkshire. And what advice would you give to a young person who was thinking of not knowing what they want to do and maybe start their own business? If that's what you want to do, do it. Go for it. You know, it doesn't. The, the biggest problem with this, with the world we live in, is everybody, you know, is worried about failure. But give it a go. You know, follow your dream. And if you can, if you, it may pay off. If it doesn't, try something else. But don't be afraid to to try. So when you meet people, if they say they've failed lots of times, do you think more of them or less of them? Uh, I probably think more of them actually, because they keep going and they keep trying and they keep. You know, as long as it's done for you know, good reasons and that sort of thing, then just keep going, keep trying. You know, look at Simon Cowell, he was bankrupt at age 28, 29, something like that, and he's not done badly. <laughs> Thank you. So what's next for you? Build this up a bit more and then try and sell it in a couple of years' time. And then? Probably do another one. <laughs> <laughs> in what this time? I don't know. Something completely different, I'm sure. Be quite, I'll, I say that, but I'll always end up in technology, I'm sure. That's well, I that's know. moving very quickly, isn't it? Oh, it's super fast. I mean, it, you know, it's moved fast for me. The 90s moved quickly. The 2000s moved very quickly. Nowadays, it's ridiculous. You know, technology changes, I think, too quickly, personally. But um, also, I think the other thing is, is that technology, for me isn't delivering necessarily a better life that we thought it would. I thought technology would... You know, I don't think technology makes my life any better because my phone now is always on, I'm constantly on call. I think the future is trying to make technology make our lives better, not necessarily do what it's doing at the moment. Thank you very much. All right.